I just bought this, which means this video is sponsored by Ecovacs. Look, I have told you before that I love vacuums, but nobody believes me. So how's this for evidence? It's me with my childhood toy vacuum. Yeah, that's right. I liked to fake vacuum and I also like to clean the windows. I even became an after-school janitor at age 14. To earn money, yes, but also to clean, because I liked it. Yeah, I was weird. And while I still enjoy vacuuming, adulthood sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's a vacuum pun. So when I do have free time, I would rather be doing something other than chores. Robot vacuums have, in recent years, increasingly reduced the amount of time that I spend cleaning. And the latest Ecovacs T20 Omni does perhaps the best job of any vacuum I've tried to date, going days or even weeks without me even having to think about it. So last year we did a video on the Ecovacs X1 Omni. It's still the flagship vacuum in the D-Bot lineup, but I think that it's frankly overshadowed by its less expensive, more feature-rich new baby brother. Like the X1, the T20 Omni is a combination vacuum and mop, but unlike certain competing vacuums, it actually oscillates the mopping pad and applies a surprising amount of pressure to scrub the floor, not merely wipe it. Now, competitors will say that a trade-off to this design is the lack of an onboard water reservoir, and that's true, there isn't one here, but I actually think that's a pro rather than a con. Let me explain. Sands reservoir, the pads must be wetted solely by the docking station. Moisture stays inside the wet and clean mopping pads as the robot drives to its intended start or resume position. And when it begins mopping, the wetter pads, they just provide more successful removal of sticky spots, oil, and grease residue. Furthermore, the increased lubrication between the two surfaces avoids scratching delicate hardwood floors. The other pro, in my opinion, is one of necessity, and that's that the robot needs to return to its station to wash and re-wet its pads with more frequency. Now, yes, while this means that the mopping task on the T20 Omni will take longer than competing bots and requires more frequent water tank top-offs, the end result is one that seems more comparable to a hands and knees mop job rather than a cheap push mop one. Another reason for enhanced mopping performance is that the pads themselves stay warm. And this is because the X20 Omni is the first RVC to utilize hot water. A heating element inside the station cleans the mopping pads with water up to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty freaking hot, which more effectively removes dirt and oils and works out tricky stains much better than cold water would or room temperature water. But perhaps the best feature to come to the X20 Omni is the first for a D-Bot vacuum, and that is auto-lowering and raising of the mopping pads. No longer do you have to remove the pads when you want to vacuum, and no more is the vacuum's movement restricted by its floor material. From the dock, it raises its pads 9mm, it drives over carpet without touching it, and then it lowers the pads when it detects a moppable surface. This also brings with it four new cleaning mode options, my favorite of which is that it can vacuum a room first and then return later to mop it, all without intervention. Now, when the bot is done, it returns to the dock. It cleans the pads with the hot cleaning solution and then dries them with a hot air blower, also a new feature. This cleans and sanitizes the pads, ensuring the prevention of bacteria and stinky odors from wet pads, meaning that you can go weeks or even months without having to remove and wash these mopping pads by hand or throw them in with your laundry. That's what I do. Don't forget, this is not just a mop. <laughs> it's an extremely impressive vacuum as well. With 6,000 PA of suction, it matches the ratings of its leading competitor, but it does so with a much lower volume, making it more tolerant to use, say, when watching TV. Now, its single rubber brush isn't unique or special, but that's okay because it does a great job on hardwood floor. That's especially thanks to its dual side brushes. And it does suitably on carpet, if not the best at hair removal. On the flip side, hair tangles within these brushes are basically non-existent. And an ultrasonic carpet detection system will increase maximum suction to help as much as possible with debris pickup on this high pile terrain. Now, the dustbin is the smallest I've seen of any robot vacuum to date, probably because of those raising and lowering pads, but it doesn't really matter, because thanks to its powerful auto-empty station that quickly evacuates from the side of the dustbin, rather than routing it back through the brush roller system like pretty much all of its competitors, this thing never clogs, and it takes months to fill up the generously sized, easily replaceable bag. Nice. 
Last, let's talk navigation and the app experience. I'll be honest with you, the Ecovacs app has never been my favorite, but there are many changes with the T20 Omni that have fixed my biggest gripes. A quick mapping mode now learns its environment building a 3D LiDAR map in just minutes. This is a huge improvement. And being able to clean in just under a specific place of furniture, like under your dining room table after a meal, is a nice touch. Cleaning efficiency modes are super handy. It allows you to quickly clean up after a weeknight meal or to deep clean on the weekend when you're trying to tidy your house. See, rather than just saying clean this room once or twice or three times, it allows you to change the behavior. So it'll, it'll change the route path, its overlap behavior, how quickly it moves and more. It's awesome. Edge cleaning augments this. It is amazing. It will mop right up against your baseboards once per week. And this is something that no other robot vacuum that I'm aware of can do because the pads on the D-Bot stick out past the end of the robot. So it kind of just booty scoots along the wall and works really, really well. I'll be sure to never do that again for you. Okay, choosing the cleaning sequence is another feature of this app and it remains one of the D-Bot's best features that nobody else has copied. You can choose the order in which it cleans rooms, which is great if you want to get high traffic areas first and lower traffic areas later. With loads of settings for how wet to mop, how soon to clean, scheduling, and more, you are always the one in control. But even with the best apps, and I don't feel like the Ecovacs app is the best, but even with the best apps, they're still a pain. And luckily, I think Ecovacs has mostly mitigated my frustrations by considering this, because not only have they implemented Siri shortcuts, which are Clean fabulous and integrate into my HomeKit workflow, but they even have an onboard assistant, Yiko, which hears your commands and responds accordingly. You can tell it to clean a specific room, a house, or return to the station, and more. Now, if you're privacy conscious like me, you can disable Yiko entirely, and I have. You'll also be pleased to hear that the T20 Omni's navigation hardware is the best I have seen yet for the privacy focus because there is no RGB camera connected to the cloud. Its True Detect 3D system uses LiDAR at the top and then an infrared obstacle detection system pointing down that works way better than I ever thought it would. Perhaps too good. You see, the robot rerouted itself around cereal that I placed on my floor for a pickup test. A cereal that admittedly should have been vacuumed up because well, it was garbage, but the robot detected it as a potential hazard. On the other hand, this wasn't really a very realistic scenario. What is are the number of cables and stray wires or rugs that I have littered around my house. Things that the T20 Omni has never run over. That's something I can't say for any other robot vacuum before in my house, even the camera-based ones. The downside to this navigation system is that it doesn't know what it's avoided, it just knows it's avoided something. But it does mark obstacles in the app for you to pick up and have it circle back once the path is clear. Its navigation is incredible, the best of any vacuum I've used to date. I liked the X1 Omni from last year, but it ended up relegated to my gym rather than a permanent place in my home because it couldn't raise and lower the mopping pads, the app wasn't fantastic, and I was a little bit skeptical about the T20 Omni, but it really surprised me. And I have replaced both my Narwhal Robotic Mop and Roborock Robotic Vacuum with this single all-in-one device. You can buy the D-Bot T20 Omni today from Amazon, Best Buy, and Ecovacs.com for $10.99. But those who order before June 30th will receive an extra $100 off. It's still a lot of money, but dollar per dollar, you can't get a better vacuum on the market and, and frankly, not even close. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay snazzy.